Hey, Pump and Crunch family, welcome back to Egg Week. Today we are making a breakfast casserole. Everybody's got different size casserole dishes. This is the one I'm gonna be making mine with today. Lots of delicious ingredients we're gonna be throwing in here, like spinach, of course, the star of the dish, eggs, hash brown potatoes, and some pre-cooked breakfast sauces that I just cooked up on the stove a couple minutes ago. This one is awesome. I wouldn't say this is the best recipe to make on a busy Wednesday morning when you're running out the door, but this is a great recipe for two reasons. One, you can prep it in advance, reheat it, kind of slice it into single servings, grab and go throughout the week. Great for that. Also, this is a fun one to make on the weekends. Like if you want to have people over for brunch, make this for yourself. It's kind of a, um, it's a treat. It's a good one. So let's get started, y'all. Okay, so everything is pretty much assembled. We're almost done. You can mix this in the dish like I did, or you can use a separate bowl and mix it. I am team the less dishes, the better. Um, we beat our eggs, we season our eggs in another bowl, and now pretty much all you're gonna do is pour your eggs over the top. Kind of get a little rubber spatula and just kind of press it around a little bit to make sure the egg really seeps into everything. And it's not so much like heavy egg frittata texture. It's thick and I call it the breakfast brick um, because it is just packed with tons of other yummy ingredients. This is what it looks like right before it goes in. Thick, not really runny because the egg is seeping down into everything. Our last step is to bake this at 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes and it will be done. All right guys, this just came out of the oven. Check it, check it. You'll know it's cooked whenever you can take your knife or your fork and kind of push in the center because this finishes last. And as long as you push here and it feels cooked and it's hard and solid, then it's ready to come out of the oven. Everybody's ovens are different. So if I recommend, for example, 30 minutes, yours might take 40, 45, but you'll know it's done by doing this little knife or fork press right there in the center. So all I'm doing now is taking my knife and running it along the outsides of the breakfast brick. That way it can slide out of here pretty easy. And I'm not gonna take the whole thing out. I wanna cut it into little slices just like this. That way I can show you guys what the inside looks like. And this is why it's called the breakfast brick. It is thick, jam-packed with all of the delicious ingredients that we piled in here before it went in the oven. Next level, you can top this sucker off with some hot sauce, some salsa, and it is ready to be enjoyed. I put some hot sauce on top of mine. This is my favorite, Cholula. Super yummy. Going in for the bite. Oh yeah, you gotta try this. It is so good. I know I say that about everything, but it all really is delicious. And this is so much fun for a weekend. Again, for meal prep, it reheats great in the microwave. Pop it in for maybe 30, 45 seconds, and you are ready to go. Cheers, y'all.